hello friends welcome to the my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to install the qt or how to download the qt or how to set up the qt there is lots of questions about how to set up the qt in our system or how to install the or how to download the qt uh, qt creator or qt modules and qt other plugins so in this video i will show you how to completely download or set up the qt so let's start just simply search on google qt and after the search you will get this link and click on the download here you can see the download open source option just click on it and at the bottom you will get the link of download the qt online installer just click on that link so after link you have get the options about how which platform you want to download about your operating system so just simply select window if you are working on windows and if you are working on linux or mac os just simply select that option according your operating system so i am working with windows to so just simply select the qt online installer for windows now click on the download so download is started and it is downloaded so just click on the your exe okay so after click on that file you can see the first options and first authentication you just have to write your qt account information your email id and password okay you can easily create your qt account on to go on qt forum and just simply create your qt account and just click on the next after verifying the uh, details here you have to select both option and this one is your if you are working with any company if you have any company and you are if you are, you are doing any business so just simply write your business in your name and company name and if you are doing individual person here if you are learning the qt so just select the and an individual and do not use qt for any company now click on next then click on next again here you have two options help us to improve by enabling sending uh, pseudonymous use statics in, in qt creator and other option is disable sending pseudonymous use of statics taking in qt creator so just simply select disable and click on the next here you have options about which qt version you want to install just let me write your set next at the part okay write your directive or where you want to install the qt so in c i just simply install the qt 6.6 .6. so you can change your folder name whatever okay just sim in here you have option if you are working with mobiles and android development you can select this both option and if you are working on the windows based platform application so you can select the qt 6.6 .6 for desktop development and if you want to install customizable if you do not want to install some packages or some library or if you want to add some libraries so you can select custom installation so continue with constru let's continue with custom installation and click on the next and here you have a uh, lots of option which qt version you want to install so let's install the latest version qt 6.6.1 .6 this is the current stable version and if you are working with the qml you can also download the qt design studio to design the ui so just simply let's add this module also now here you have a lots of option if you are working add, if you don't if you want to add web assembly library you can select the web assembly or if you want to add msvc 2019 package you can also edit i don't want to install msvc 2019 and web assembly and also android just sim simply in include the main gw and also add qt5 computer module and there is a lots of additional library if you want to add multimedia modules 
so you can just have to select the multimedia or if you do not want to add QT multimedia to just simply uncheck the QT multimedia okay so select the libraries according to your I suggest to download all of the libraries okay so every library has own functionality and own characteristics so both the, this all library are very useful to develop an attractive application and attractive GUI application and perform the very precise functions so just simply download the all of this library now you have to see, can see here the development and designer tools so simply add also add Qt creator or debug symbol and plugins development and also at the open SSL library now just simply click on the next after selection all of this or if you want to install the previous versions or older version so you can select the this version now click on the next okay just simply check the I have read and agree the terms and contain in the license agreement now click and next okay here the start menu shortcuts also click and next just now just click on the install button you can see here that the 23.63 GB disk space will be used now click on install and just sit back and relax while your QT is downloading and installing you can see here the how much time will be taken for this installation process or also you can see how many downloads packages are downloaded and installed so here it will take almost one and half hour time so just sit back and relax okay and see the process okay or also you can see this video in 2x speed to skip or also skip this part okay total downloading package size 5.71 GB so it take almost one hour to install or download the all these packages
okay friends now our qt installation is successfully done all our the packages are successfully installed all like this and our kits are successfully installed you can see the logs number of packages are downloaded and all packages are successfully installed now click on the next and launch you have an option if you want to launch qt creator and open the readme file no need to open the file just click on the launch qt creator and just finish so your qt creator will be run just wait for it so you will get the our qt creator open and you you can see the all example codes are available and just simply create the project open the project and all of, all of this so by this way you can easily install the qt i hope you understand how to install the qt and how to set up the qt and how to run the qt so please drop your comment if you have any question and thanks for watching my video please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new interesting video about qt and thanks for watching my video thank you